JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me here at Telecom Exchange LA in Beverly Hills, we have Mr. Eric Ballard. He is the Vice President of Networking Cloud over at Stream Data Centers. Eric, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me, Jamie. I appreciate it. Oh, we love having you. Uh, you were also with us at Telecom Exchange New York City in June a few months back. So tell us what's been what's been up at Stream since then. Oh, we've uh, we've been crazy busy the last few months. Uh, we've been got a lot of new development work going ongoing. We're bringing on new data centers and continuing to look at new expansions all across the U.S. and been uh, doing a lot of just a lot of different development work. And we know in April you acquired, you purchased roughly about 23 acres uh, up in uh, Garland, Texas. Tell us a little bit about that facility and, and what's up next there. Sure. So, you know, that facility, we, we bought the, the land earlier in the year, but we are fixing to break ground here in this month. Um, so we're in the basically the process of rolling out all the trailers and so forth and you know we are fully permitted and ready to roll there and so we're we're getting going probably in the next week or so oh, at that site so exciting. a lot to come that'll deliver just probably a little after mid next year so i think we're targeting an august uh, delivery date for that product so a uh, lot of lot of activity we've seen around the facility a lot of customer interest there so you know we think it's going to be a great project for us and how does Garland, Texas fit into your overall market strategy? Sure. So, I mean, we are Dallas headquartered, so that helps a lot that uh, it is in our backyard. The Garland facility will be our seventh facility that we've done in the Dallas area. Um, sure, it won't be our last, but, uh, you know, we, we believe that there's a good mix of both major market data center expansion like the Dallas, the Chicago's, the world where we have another project that's basically going to wrap up here in the next, uh, you know, kind of couple of months. But, you know, we think that there's a mix between that and then also some other secondary markets such as Minneapolis, which we've been very successful in. Uh, we continue to have product up there. We continue to look for new product and new expansions, both not only in those kind of, we'll call it secondary markets, but many other markets as well, uh, both including major markets as well as secondary. And we think that there's a good mix to be had. Uh, we have a good product mix that can cover all kinds of different customer needs in those markets. So. Yeah, and, and uh, we've been talking a lot here at Telecom Exchange about getting getting closer to the edge, getting into those uh, more local markets. What markets do you see data center demand uh, at the strongest right now? You know, I mean, I think the, the major metros, the Dallas, the Chicago, the Ashburn, Silicon Valley, we continue to see massive amounts of demand there. And we see lots of, lots of other competitors that are bringing on, you know, tons of inventory on those markets, but we see it getting absorbed. So we continue to see really, really strong demand in those, the, you know, the kind of what we call the kind of the top four or five data center markets in the U.S., and what are the key trends that are driving all these demands in these markets? Uh, I think, you know, number one, uh, cloud. You know, the hyperscale guys are really just continuing to expand and grow. And, you know, they, they absorb the vast majority of that. And then there's some, some big enterprise guys out there and, you know, a lot of big tech that still pulls down a lot of space. But uh, in enterprise is a play. But the cloud guys definitely take down the vast majority of all the space. And so when it comes to investing in co-location infrastructure and data center operations and improving ROI, why do clients choose Stream? I think the number one thing that we bring to the table is, is that we're willing to work with our customers. It is We know it's not a one-size-fits-all in our industry. Uh, we've built a, a great business out of being very flexible. So you know, we have customers that come to us and say, you know, hey, we have this unique model, and can you conform to that? And unlike a lot of other co-location providers, we absolutely can. We can you know, tailor operations to be exactly what they need. Sometimes we have customers that really want to ramp up the, the level of operational staff around it, right? They want to be ready for that instantaneous outage mm -hmm. at any one given moment. But then we also have customers that say, we actually want a little less, right? We, we, can, we can take an outage of our infrastructure. We want in capacity, but we want to optimize price around that. And we can offer, uh, we can do that not only on the facility side, but also on the operation side and really help to hone the right price for our customers as well. And so looking into your crystal ball, what can you tell us, Eric, about what we can expect from Stream in 2019? Uh, I think you'll see us go into several new markets that we've never been in before. Um, 
you know, a couple of them that for sure. And uh, I think you'll see us building bigger and larger facilities over and over and over again. Um, you know, more more to come in the cloud space, I think, uh, for us over the next, you know, 12 to 24 months. And uh, I think there you'll see continued expansion in our existing markets that we already do a lot of business in. So. Stream Data Center is for sure a growth story, a company to watch. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.